Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me giving Victor here a ASMR haircut, scalp massage, and chest massage. I have a variety of hair products and skin products you'll be seeing throughout the video, and I thought we could just dive right in. So first, I'm going to be combing Victor's hair with my comb here. And I'm going to be spraying down his hair with some water spray. And then I'm going to be clipping his hair, or yeah, clipping his hair back with some clips I have attached to my shirt. And then we'll get right into the cut. So let's begin. This video will be a very light talking video. Um, I don't want to ruin what you can hear as far as sounds go and just the visuals of me playing with his hair and you know touching his skin and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoy. As I said, I am filming on my iPhone 6, so I apologize ahead of time with the quality. Okay, so now that we've combed his hair, I'm just going to water spray it down, then brush through it, and then clip it. Use my comb and begin cutting. So now I'm going to be using this brush and I'm going to brush through his hair and clip it back. So today's hairstyle slash haircut will be an adaptation of what's called a faux hawk. That's where the length on top stays the same as it is now, and the sides will be trimmed down near the scale. That way, you can style it however you want, whether it be to the side, slicked back, parted, if that's your style. <laughs> so, let's begin. Right now, I'm gonna be using my comb to make two parts on the top of his forehead, head, whatever, <laughs> and then I'm going to be clipping it back with these clips I have here. I'm going to start where his temple begins. And make a part straight back. I take one of my clips and just clip it for now. Might not be perfect, but okay. Moving to the other side where his temple begins, making a part straight back. And 
Sabi niya, tara ka. So now that we have our part, what I'm going to be doing is just beginning to cut the sides. Um, in this video, since this haircut may take a long time, I may just show you guys me cutting the sides and then trimming the top length just to get the dead ends out and then we'll move on to the neck massage and I will do the back on my own off camera, okay? So, keeping my comb and taking my scissors, let's begin cutting the sides. So, <laughs> I'm going to be just brushing through his hair, taking my two fingers, putting them as close as I can to the head, and just starting to cut. I will be using a brush later to just brush this off. We're not going to be keeping any length around his ears. Now I am going to just give a forewarning here that I am not a professional hairstylist by any means. He just, I've always cut his hair. Um, so any advice in this video is not professional advice, that's all. I'm just explaining my technique, maybe it would work for you at home. Like I said, I'm just taking the hair, the length, taking my two fingers, middle finger, pointer finger, index finger, whatever, and putting the hair in between my fingers up to the head, like my fingers are directly against his head. And I am using these scissors to cut the length that's, you know, coming from the other side. That way it gives a short style while keeping the length up top. Moving up towards where the length is, I am going to be cutting the hair shorter. That way it doesn't fall over, giving the appearance of layers. So there is a lot of hair on him right now. So I'm going to be taking my brush Just brushing the hair off the head. 
Nghe tiếng động Now I'm just gonna start on the other side This side is not done But I just want to even out See where I'm at Said, going down to the top, I'm going to be cutting the other way. What I mean is taking my two fingers, I'm not going to be putting my fingers against the head, I'm going to be pulling out about half an inch and then going behind the fingers instead of front. That way, like I said, the hair is shorter, not giving the appearance of layers. Moving down, we're going to want to go back in front of the two fingers, not behind. Keeping that one. As I move along back, which like I said is going to be done off camera, I do and you guys do. Um, this technique that I'm showing you, um, you're going to want to keep the length not the same, um, like moving back. You're going to want to keep it longer, like going slanted back, which I don't know if I can show you on camera, but I hope that makes sense. You don't want the shortness on the top the same length all the way around because that basically gives, I believe it's called a mushroom cut, where the hair falls over the shorter length. I'm going to be taking a different brush since the hair is getting thicker. Just brushing the hair off of him. I'm going to be doing a little bit more and then I'm going to cut off and the video will resume whenever I'm on the top of this head just trimming um, dead ends off. That's all. And then I'll style and move on to the scalp massage, hair styling, um, and neck massage, etc.
going to do the brush one more time. The smaller brush because there's not so much hair. will resume when I am on the top of the set, okay? See you guys soon. Welcome back, guys. Um, as you can see, the sides of his hair are cut, and I promise that I would leave the video and come back when I was ready to do the top. Now I'm going to brush the hair off with my larger brush has a little bit of hair on it already. to be re-wetting the top of his hair. So let's take those clips off. Okay. Using my brush. He doesn't ever wear his hair like that and probably will never. Look at you, so. <laughs> okay, so my hair is still a bit damp because it is covering my eyes. Okay. Going back with the scissors. And a comb. Just brushing through. And there's a lot of length here. So I'm just going to trim the ends. And I'm going to keep the length. If he really wants to go high with his faux hawk, he's going to need a lot of gel. See all the hair. Just brush that on the floor where it will be cleaned up. Start with the beginning, which actually I'm gonna cut the clips off that. Just take it up about a quarter inch and snip. section of hair clips <laughs> but that hurt
last section, pull. Three strands in this. Okay, so now that his hair is done, I'm going to comb through to get and just rub through his hair vigor vigorously to get the you know, little hairs out. Then we're going to put some product in his hair and style it, and then move on to the neck massage, and then down to the chest massage, etc. Okay? And that is a lot of extra hair, which we will just brush, 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 on the floor. Okay. There it is again. Brushing myself off. And now I will be brushing him off as well. First with this larger brush. And then we're going to finish him off by using my hands and a small brush. I'm brushing a bit more rough than usual. Rougher, if that's a word. Is rough a word? <laughs> Gently on the face. Okay, smaller brush. Just pick up any left hairs. So using my hands as well. Now, for product, I'm just going to be slicking back his hair, as you see here already, giving a little bit of volume, and for that, I'm going to start out with this Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum, which smooths and conditions. You put it in damp hair. Um, I actually bought this product after I had my hair highlighted about a month and a half ago. It's in a clear bottle, so it's very hard to see, but it's called Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum. Shake it up. Now, it even says on the bottle, very concentrated. So you only need a very small amount. Like for my hair, my hair goes down past my chest, so I only need about like half the size of a dime. So for him, you're going to need like literally like that much, maybe more right here. You guys can see that. Okay. So just rubbing that in my palms. And just rubbing it through his hair. The scent is 
kind of like a sweet green apple smell. Like a sweet and sour, so sweet and sour smell. And you can't have sweet without the sour. And I know sour from your other culture. It's also good for the skin as well, so any excess, just go ahead and rub on the skin. It has an amazing smell, can be used on men and women. Okay, so, like I said, I'm going to use the brush for this, for the styling. Just brush back. off with this Paul Mitchell Extra Body Daily Boost. It's a root lifter in volume, so it's going to give him volume right about here, like right on the bump of the scalp. So you spray this in. Um, one recommendation that I do know um, the stylists give me in the salon is always get your products at a salon. It's very easy for um, certain products in grocery stores to be duped. So anything you see in like a Giant Eagle or something like that, that looks exactly the same as something in a salon could have been there for over a year, maybe more, you know what I mean? It doesn't mean it's good. Always get it at a salon. So covering his eyes. Okay, now we just gotta slick it back. The smell of this product is kind of, if you guys have ever had like a brand new cabbage patch doll, but in a good way, in a good way. I just smell things very strangely, I guess. Actually, I am going to just use my comb just to slip back. Okay. Just for any volume, bump it up in the front. You can also tease it, taking a bit of hair pulling it to the front, like the very front of the head, then the hair in the back. Take your small end of the comb with the shorter bristles closer together and just brush back very gently. You don't want to damage the freshly cut hair. Okay, then brush the front back and you've got volume. Now obviously, this is the finished look, not perfect, obviously because his hair is wet, but for now. So, moving on, I am going to be using for his neck massage and chest massage coming down to his arms, this Stress Relief Eucalyptus Tea Body Lotion. For men and women. Some men don't like the smell of, you know, certain fruit and things like that. But this is, this has eucalyptus essential oils and tea to help calm feelings of stress and uncertainty. It's a creamy nourishing body lotion formulated to give skin long lasting moisture while an aromatherapy blend of essential oils helps calm the feelings of stress and uncertainty. So I'm just going to pump a good amount, about four pumps. And 
and what he's always taught me actually is when lotion comes out it's very cold so you want to warm it up in your hands Gently apply the lotion. It has a very strong smell, but at the same time, it's very calming. I'm just rubbing it in. I'm actually going to So being very firm, I'm just going to massage the back of his neck, pushing up towards the end of the skull, I believe, right? Would that be, I guess that's the scalp, never mind. <laughs> the end of the scalp and hold. Count for about five seconds. One, two, three. Let go. That releases tension in the neck. So moving on to one side. Just doing like a flinging motion, like a push in, helping pull the skin down. Brush it out. This side as well. Doing the shoulders now. I am being as rough as my tiny hands can. Moving on to the shoulder. Bring up. Being very gentle, so I don't want to look like I'm choking him. <laughs> Just massaging the outside of the collarbone. Under the collarbone, down the center of the chest, and back up. Finishing off, I'm just going to give gentle caresses up his arm. I can feel your goosebumps. <laughs> Light tapping. And gentle caresses on his upper neck. of the arms, the front, the thigh. Now, he enjoys having his back scratched and neck scratched, so to finish off the video, I thought I would just scratch for the sounds. Very gently. Might sound gross, but it's not. <laughs> okay. Well, that 
that's it, I suppose, for today's video. Victor and I thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.